Good morning, my love. There's something I love more than you, more than the children, and that's the greatest surfer that has ever lived in the history of the planet, Mr. Sterling Spencer. And he has a show, and I want to be on that show. I wasn't invited, but I'm going to travel cross country and find him. So take care of the kids, take care of yourself, and most importantly, take care of my wiener. Bye bye. I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to find the answer. Bye, my love. Been on the road now for two days. Before I reach the 12th dimension. Oh, this is a stupid idea. This was a bad idea. God, I'm at my wit's end. Please let me find Sterling Spencer. Sterling! Sterling! Do you know it's Sterling Spencer? Do you, you know where he's at? I just want to be my hero. God, is it too much to ask? I drove across the country to beat you! <laughs> I know this was meant to be! Oh, I just have one question, Mr. Sterling Spencer. How do I get to the 12th dimension? And if you can't answer that, I'll settle for a lock of your hair. Throw away your soft tops and follow me. If I do that, my career's over. I can't even bottom turn. I can barely surf. I paid for your f***ing program, man. I thought we had one-on-one -on -one time. Please listen to me. I'm begging you. I don't want to get rid of the soft top. I don't want to be weird, but I'm just a huge fan. Mr. Sterling, are you part man, part God? Mr. Sterling, you're timeless. Mr. Sterling, you're a- Shut up! <gasps> Sit in my lap and I'll show you the 12th. <laughs> Mr. I didn't realize we were all church boys. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. And how did I not? I'm 43 years old. I never put together that first assembly of God as fag. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? Hey, how's it? You know the rules. Did your parents spank you? Did your parents spank you, John? They did, very much so. Put this up a little bit? Very much. Put it up. There you go. And I feel like it was the right decision. Really? I was a bit of a rascal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What yeah. kind of spanking did they do? Ah, uh, just over the like jeans. Like intimidating? Over my, uh, what Jankos? are they? My, yeah, my Jankos. <laughs> they would give me a little pat. And yeah. it really, what it did was it communicated the feeling of pain. The taint. To the behavior. Right. And then I would correct it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you ever get spanked? Oh, yeah. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Were brother? you a naughty boy? <laughs> no. I remember, like, I got switched. Did y'all get the switch? Dude, you did not. That's something from the South. <laughs> By the way, like, I, when you said you were from the South, I thought, you know, maybe maybe it's not real. You are from the South. <laughs> yeah, dude. So they'd say, go get a switch. So they'd make you go out to, like, the prickly tree. Did you get switched? No. So you pick out, it's like a thorny stick. And they bring it in, they're just like, what the? Like cat of nine tails. Right on your, uh, the back of your calf. Wait, why the thorns? They want to pierce the skin? <laughs> Give you <laughs> a little extra? Was it Lydia? Oh, yeah. It's I think it's thing. good for some kids and then some. It's your worst injury you've ever been, <laughs> ever had. Oh, I snapped my tib fib. Remember how Bo Jackson would break the bat over his knee? Yeah. That happened to my leg. How? Mm. Uh, it's actually involved surfing. This guy burned me, right? Yeah. And so he's in front of me, and I'm like, this guy's a cook. You know, I'm pumping down the line. He does a cutback, and his board hits me right in the shin. So then I was doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because you know if you surf, you have to learn how to ground fight. That's a big because part of Joel. Of, part. Because of Joel. Joel Tudor. <laughs> Joel Tudor told me <laughs> during the grappling, my leg snapped. <laughs> and these guys are like, just stand up. And, like, my leg is like this. Shut I go, no. Up. Call 911. And then they got there, and I'm like, juice me up. I thought maybe it was going to be this luge crash you were in. This is true. Uh, wow, you did your research. 
I was into Lose. street lugeing. It was very big, the X Games, back in the 90s. <laughs> and in high school, I was known as a luger. A luger? A luger. A luger. A luger. <laughs> now three California daredevils have built their own luge-type sleds. This is what the loser sees roaring down. Not a loser. Is that real? Yeah. A loser. <laughs> yeah, this is from wow. what year? 18? That's 1998. Why so does it look like the 1820s? <laughs> well... <laughs> They're missing gray matter between their ears. Is this um pictures <laughs> those dudes that lay yeah. bobsledding in the yeah. streets? Basically? I come from a place that was like getting developed when I was in high school, and it's hilly, so there was massive oh. hills. So they called me the Speed Wobble King. I also did a lot of downhill <laughs> sector nining. So you've been quoted of saying, um, "There's actually footage of this. Soft tops are super hot right now. I brought a soft top. It's pretty sick. It's rad. It's not a big deal. Soft tops are super <laughs> hot right now. I also brought a soft top. It's pretty sick." It's red. It's not nice. a big deal. I rip on it. I rip on it. I mean, that's what I thought at the time until... You know this is a no soft top <sighs> band. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is a quote that I said yeah. at the time. So at the time, what were you thinking? <sighs> I want to fit in. Everybody's doing it. Kalani all Rob the does it. For all the Rob, vloggers. That guy, Tyler Stan Stanafeld. All those cool guys, Eric Kostin, Kostin, the pro skater. Oh, yeah. They, d they do that. Jamie O'Brien does it. Think about this, Sterling. He's built an empire. Jamie O'Brien <laughs> loves children. Everybody knows when you think Jamie O'Brien, he loves kids. That's He's like I, the elf of he surfing. Is. And yeah, that, the Barney. that came from soft topping. So obviously, rad, I should soft top. Right. Because you were a beginner. I was a beginner. <laughs> I'm an adult <laughs> learner at the surfing, and uh, I've transitioned now, though, to the hard board. Hard board. Is that what they call it? Is that... I Are you hard board only now? Hard... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you promised under the tree. I did. So let's talk a little <laughs> bit about that. I drove across the country to find you, to meet you. Nobody knows where you are. I know everybody. The coconut wire is real, <laughs> and nobody knew where the hell you were. Right. right. And I finally found you, <laughs> and I want to talk about the 12th dimension, okay? Right. Seriously. Did you feel it? Seriously. I, well, I found you, and I think it was meant to be. What is the 12th dimension, and how do I get there? I know I can't ride soft tops. To get to the 12th, you have to delete your Instagram. What? <laughs> <laughs> to delete your YouTube. You have to throw away your soft tops. You have to pick up jujitsu, the Joel Tudor Sector 9 weed board. You gotta get the McFanning uh, beer opening sandal, and you gotta shave your head. I'll do all of those things. I wanna go the natural way, the spiritual way. I'll take the taint. Advice. Yeah. The taint? Well, inverted tricks, getting your taint directly to the sun. I, there's no way I could do an inverted <laughs> trick. I've thought about this so much. How could I get to that 12? Is that the f 12th dimension? Yeah. 12 o'clock. <gasps> 12. Tail. Taint. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever gotten an air? Yeah, yeah, I have. For reals? Well, you're, you're in one I, of the I've, I attempted to with a surfer. He took me out to try to teach me airs, yeah. Y you said once in a video your wife can vouch for you that you've done an air. She saw it. I've done two, and my wife saw one. She was there. You know, so I have somebody who can vouch for me. It's She's the only one? Yeah, it's not documented anywhere that, you know, exists, but I've done airs. Could we call your wife and ask? You can call my wife. She'll vouch. You can call her right now? I'll call her right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. The one thing I'm not <laughs> is a liar. I'm going to put her on speakerphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, there you go. Keep it up there. Let's see if she answers. I love you so much, honey. I'm sorry I did what I did. I'm sorry I left. It's Sterling Spencer. Hi, you've reached Gigi. <sighs> Damn it. I got no one to vouch for me. <sighs> so why did you say once uh, surfing is a selfish sport? Oh, because. Why would you say What does that mean? It's the most selfish thing a human could do. Have fun. Oh, it's the more. <laughs> have fun. You leave everybody behind right you're in your own world floating in the water dancing for other men in a, <laughs> in a in a magical suit just looking at everybody else going oh that's good no i'm gonna do better no, so it's a selfish better. pursuit it's all self the most hmm. the most what do you think about that Sterling? if you're looking at serving from the ocean's perspective i think it's good, good. <clears throat> it's so profound 
Okay. So this segues into a game I think we should play. What do you guys think? Yeah. It's not a game. It's really a, it's called ra- Rating a Surfer. What should we call it? What should we call Did it? Did you say Raping a Surfer? <laughs> <laughs> this is rating. We had people send in photos of them surfing. You guys can be kind. You can be mean. You can whatever. These are some <laughs> photos. So there, you're going to see these photos come up on the screen. <laughs> All right. First here we got Dylan. What do you guys think? So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's, Dylan's shredding. Okay, I think I think Dylan has graceful style. Like he's dominating. Uh, all right, Dylan, you're dominating. How many points? Yeah, I'll how many points point? did you give him? Uh, five. Uh, out of ten. Five. Oh, I'm going to give him a 7.2. All right. This next one is my wife. Whoa. No. Yep. Shut up. Dude. I thought that was Blink-182. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Orange. Kiala Kennelly. <laughs> Go right. So Br- Bree Spencer, she's schwacking this. What do you guys think? I give it a nine. Gorgeous. Got dude. the surf station sticker. Yeah, it's so from St. Augustine. That's that's a perfect surf Does shop. Does she have a tattoo, lower back tattoo? No, we got that would have been major points. So she would have got a 10 if she had a lower back. Yeah. Uh, 10, Brie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Set, something real quick. Setting it. That is a 1998 female surfing nine. All right. right. <laughs> I like it. We got Mason Moritz here. Is that a soft top? Next. Looks mm, soft. Mason. Yeah. We don't rate soft tops. We're, we're deducting 10 points. Negative one, Mason. <laughs> it is curious, though. I've never seen you on a soft top, and I respect that. <laughs> I respect the hell out of that. All right, yeah. here we got Lance Richardson. Whoa! Oh. That's hella oh, inverted. Oh, brother. Taking He's off entering the 12th. Thing. See, he, he made one little mistake. Yeah. Like, he was at the 12th, and he was about to enter it, but... Only a few enter. His ego took over, and he tried to get the shot, and he's like... <laughs> Yeah, Lance. <laughs> Lance is killing it. He's on the right equipment. He's on a lost board, a lost right. short board. I'm just going to make a suggestion, Lance. Maybe not ready for the short board yet. <laughs> I see a lot of folks riding short boards, <laughs> and they're always lost. <laughs> they're lost. Maybe just <laughs> saying. <laughs> All right, he doesn't get any points. He just gets some advice. Okay, Maya Whoa. Clary. Ooh. The style is intriguing. It's pretty sick. You guys didn't act like this with Bree. <laughs> <laughs> I did? Pretty nine. good. Schwack. Pretty cool. That's solid spray. All right. Solid Next. Spray. That's legit. Knee high Gulf Coast. Oh. Ooh. The goggles. The goggles are amazing. This guy? Oh, that's, that's just perfection. That's By the way, Whoa. I just I just want to say, I, and this I is like that. full disclosure, I have a giant, giant framed picture. <laughs> when you first walk into of my this? house, this is what you see. That's me trying to get to the twelfth dimension right now. Are there. you on a skip? I want to tell you something. <laughs> that is actually a uh, eleven foot soft top glider. It's a soft top? <laughs> yeah. Yeah it is. But it's got more uh progressive rails. Right. Right? Should have never said that. Uh, is that right. the uh, uh Latchy Peters? <gasps> oh I think this might be one of Kelly's dumps. Lachy Pe- <laughs> Lachy Peters. <laughs> is that a lakey? That's Lachy. the only way to surf in the freaking Scotland. <laughs> so Scotland. Yeah. All right, we got one more of that Maya Claire lady. What do you guys call this maneuver? Oh. Uh, she's going straight to the 12. Oh. 12. That's 12. That's Because she's the in the 12th. Well, 12. she's calling everyone to the 12. <laughs> this is Zach Toff. I think he's doing the opposite of what Maya was doing. <laughs> the flexibility is well, impressive. He he's not good enough to get inverted, so he was trying like the nineties way yes. to get to the twelve. <laughs> this one looks like it could be green screened. <laughs> oh, that's, that's real. Uh, I don't know. That's the <laughs> smallest barrel. It's <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> shittiest barrel I've ever seen him. That's awful. It's like such an incredible yeah. shot with the <laughs> worst wave. <laughs> <laughs> like, this his foot. It's like he's at third base, like. Come on. This is what I'm talking about, though. He <laughs> tells his friends that he got barreled. He yeah. has that frame. I mean, he in is his house. barreled. Garen, technically. All right. This is Run Moody. It looks like he might be. Run oh. Moody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh. Oh. <laughs> that dude's on drugs. That's a, that, He's stoned. He That's how you look when you're super high and you think you're killing him. <laughs> this is Jorge Casanovas. Jorge. Oh, that's sick. I like that. There's no way there. Look at the it's aggressive. Like foot. Right. He's got the face. Is that Ken Skin Dog Collins? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It does look like That's great. <laughs> Good work, Jorge. Indeed. Hannah Grace. She's one of our biggest fans. 
Ooh. Hannah, Looks your style's style. good. Looks like some That's Gulf Coast nice. waves. Good style. We need to get a better camera for you, <laughs> but the style is <laughs> Good work, Hannah. We good give job, you Hannah. a nine. This is Andrew oh. Saludes. Ooh. Looks like another How Gulf. do you get enough speed to get there? That's fascinating. Very we nice. got one more, and then we're done with the game. This is a frame grab from Clayton. That's all I got. Clayton. 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 I think he's a younger <laughs> kid. Clayton Bigsby. Clayton needs vertical, brother. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty that, sick, Clay. That kind of looks like a young Sterling Spencer. It kind of does. I <laughs> bet there's pictures in the family catalog yeah. just like that. All right. That's it for the rate the surfer game. Rate the surfer game. <laughs> so driving yeah. across country, looking for Sterling, checking everything out, I finally get to the right place, and this is how I know it. I'm ordering something at the bar, by the way. I had a water. Thank you very much. The bartender, she was probably... You know, like 50, right? Gross. Real nice lady. And I go, I'm going to be on the most famous surf show tomorrow in the world. <laughs> and she goes, what's it called? And I said, listen. You forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> Pinch That's my salt. I said, I said, it's Sterling Spencer's show and his cousin Ryan. And she goes, oh, the Spencers? And then she started talking about your dad, dude. And she was so sweet and she was so nice. And she just had wonderful things to say about him. That's and cool. I was like. That's pretty epic. Well, when we were driving here, <laughs> yeah. when I picked them up, we, I was showing them like inner light surf shops over there. We got one in Gulf Breeze, one in Destin. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, oh, I have a, we have a gift to give you. What? Yeah, you Are you serious? Yep. This is a little present. Oh my it's from God. our local <laughs> shops. Maybe, maybe tell them a little about inner light. I, I know. know your son's birthday was yesterday <laughs> and this is a little <laughs> suspicious. The packaging. Mm -hmm. is that, is. that was for Wyatt. I just read. <laughs> it's a re bag, but the okay. gift's for you. <laughs> All right. We need the bag back. Okay. <laughs> so Inner Light was what? When was it founded? 1969. 1969. Best number. Ooh. Whoa. My gosh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. You got some Inner Light swag, bro. Let me tell you how great you guys are. <laughs> I basically invited myself <laughs> slash stalked my way here, and they're giving me a gift. Oh, man. So stoked. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're welcome. It's killer. Shout out to Billy. Billy at Inner Light Surf Shops. Yeah, he's the man. This is like the fabric of my pants when my dad used to spank me. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. It kind of would protect So it. every time I touch it. I'll that was smart to wear movies. corduroys if you knew you were about to get smacked. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're, I heard. Okay. <clears throat> doesn't like you. First off, <gasps> I, let's not use real names. <laughs> And, I, and I'd already had so many things with Instagram where, like, people would call me and go, take that down. And I'm like, but I think it's hilarious. And, just yeah. and I fun. would. So I took it down. That's my story. Well, from my experience, I, th I feel like, like when you make that video, oh, he's probably not even going to see this. Yeah. Because in your mind, it's like, yeah. he's like our hero, you know? So when it just happens like that instantly, it's like, whoa. They probably didn't understand your humor. They didn't yet understand too. any of it. And so what I realized is this, Mr. Spencer, you do not make fun of a specific business. You do not make fun of a specific person. You create a character mm. and people read through the lines and they go, you know, that's the way to go about it. Yeah. And, but I've always liked playing with this, yeah. this tool we have because it's fun i've had other people go like i make fun of um the australian surfer his son's kingston yaden 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 and yaden's like do whatever you want yeah, dude yaden's i could i could give a australians crap. are so different oh they're the best i wish we had our country had the australian sense of humor especially oh. california oh, dude. <laughs> just don't take yourself so seriously right. like have fun this is what i struggled with in the beginning of my career it's like in the comedian world, it's like we make fun of what we love. Yes. It's like so so we admire someone. It's like, okay, how can I make fun of them to to celebrate mm -hmm. them? But in the surf world, it's so – can be kind of mafia. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, my, my love is being taken as knives. <laughs> mm. And it shouldn't be. Like I am a straight-up diehard surf fan. I read I Surf that's what you are. Yeah. You're like surfing's biggest fan. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's and like, way. there's no like. That's why this is so fun for me. Like, but you have to remember, there's a person behind it. We're all different. And like, I love people with a sense of humor. <laughs> and my my 
one of my faults is I think everybody shares my this sense same. of humor. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Well, I used yeah. to make fun of Laird back in the early <sighs> as Bussy Laird. Love Laird Hamilton. Laird has always been the coolest. That's awesome. Believe it or not. His wife's amazing too. But he's never acknowledged me. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> what is but this it? one time he chased me. He followed me. <laughs> On Instagram? Well, he didn't know he was chasing me. There was this guy. This is a real story. <laughs> Do you know who Sonny Miller is? Yes. Yeah, the, the legendary. The god of filmer. all yeah. god filmmakers. Mm-hmm. So I've, on, in my blog, <coughs> I followed Sonny on Facebook. And he had all these pictures of him and Laird giving these huge shakas. <laughs> like, you know, like the not big a, ones. Not a loosey-goosey, <laughs> but like. Like both of them just like, <laughs> so I cut uh, his head off and put my head on it. Yeah. And this was like when the internet started. So I posted like me and Laird doing this, me and Laird doing this. <laughs> he had so many photos of him and Laird. I had 30 photos of me and Laird, just me and Laird around town. Me. <laughs> and Sony got so mad. Mm. And he was just like, oh, I'm going to find you. And I was like, he's my hero. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get it. You're and so, like, Sony, I couldn't tell if he was messing with me. And I think he was, kind of. So I was staying at Machado's house. Yeah. And I didn't tell Machado that Sony was looking for me. And Ro- Rob, last second, he's like, oh, I'm going to meet Laird down at the um, Cardiff parking lot right now. You want to go? I was like... <laughs> Uh, and I get a text from Sony. He's like, we're waiting for you. Oh, God. And I look down, and Laird's so big, I see this. Mm, mm, mm. And Sony, he's like a smaller guy, you know? Yeah. And he's like, huh, huh, huh? He's like looking for him. He's on his phone. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I'm going to stay here, Rob. You didn't go. And Rob goes down. I'm, I'm watching them. And I see Sony. I'm, I have, like, binoculars. Like, yeah. Rob lives on the cliff there, you know? And I see him calling me. I'm like, uh, and then he texts me. He's like, me and Laird are going to teach you a lesson. Oh, no. Are you kidding? I couldn't tell. He seemed angry. <laughs> so then I'm like, I got to get out of here. And so I get in my car, but I forget I'm in the ugliest billabong. It oh, was lime little... green. Oh. It was with bright billabong pink and black. And it was the brightest, stupidest car you've ever seen. <laughs> so I get in my, it's super tiny too. I'm like, get in. It's like, they won't find me. And he's just watching me. He's like, there's the, there he goes. <laughs> they see me drive off. So him and Laird get in the car, but I don't think Laird knew or cared. Yeah. He was just going to like bring Laird and scare me. But I swear Laird didn't know. So I go to the seaside market. And, of course, I park, like, in the front spot. (laughs) So they were like, oh, he's here. (laughs) (laughs) You went five feet. So I went in the back and ordered a sandwich to the side there where they used to have the deli. And I'm just sitting there. And I just, I'm, like, sitting back. I'm like, I'm safe. And then Laird. Laird walks in, and he's so big, he has to, like, duck his head. He's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, and Sony's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. So I, like, run down the cereal aisle to the back, and I see Sony. He's like, huh? huh? <laughs> and Laird's like, hmm. He's like, hmm, hungry. <laughs> Laird hungry. So Laird's, like, ordering the sandwich, and Sony's running around the grocery store trying to find me. <laughs> I think he was going to try to take me to Laird to sacrifice me. <laughs> And what happened? So I just, um, I ran out and got in the car did and drove you, off. Did you get your sandwich? <laughs> 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 so then all day long I'm hiding and I finally go back to Ross house and he's like, dude, you didn't tell me Laird was looking, <laughs> you didn't tell me they were looking for you. He was, and I was like, yeah, the whole thing was a setup. <laughs> it's so good. So do you think to this day they really wanted to beat you up or mess with you? I don't think so. I know Laird had no idea because he doesn't seem like a person that would care no. he doesn't because everyone would make fun of Laird at that time because he was just on credit card commercials it was everything was Laird like Laird yeah. this Laird that but that's what everyone's trying to do he was ahead of his time oh, he, was, he was stepped outside the surf world and did his own thing wait, everyone made fun of him for so long and now everyone is absolutely doing it. by the way Rob Machado is the coolest dude for real oh yeah he has 
he he helped me with the he's just sent very kind words to me nice. and i swear when i met him i met him for the first time like you gave me a big hug and was so nice and like when i hugged him i'm just like dude I, yes and it's just the best surfer of all time i could yeah. watch him all day so sick yeah he's a special human he is <laughs> for sure dude this is some of his hair <laughs> <laughs> He's, he goes in. <laughs> he's the king of Cardiff and Encinitas. He's literally plastered. He's know, on banks. Giant. Like <laughs> you're like he yeah. works at the bank. He does everything. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah. That's but fun. but I dude, I have to say this though. Oh no. For these when we get in trouble, when I get in trouble, I have usually it's an older guy who grew up in magazines that right. did all this stuff and this is all new to them. Right. The social right. media thing, they're just like they usually aren't even on it. Yeah. Or they have someone post yeah. running it for them. They don't understand it. But yes, it's all from love. Are you Cook of the Day? I am not. Who is he? Can't say. Who is it? Sworn to secrecy. Is he a server? Shreds. He sh shreds? Gets vertical, goes to the 12th dimension. Is he a pro? I can't say. <laughs> when I was younger, people thought I was Cook of the Day when it first came out. That makes sense. <laughs> I can see that happening. And... Cook of the Day kind of saved me because I had my website and stuff and I was making fun of everything and I was getting the the heat and because my face is on it. And then when Cook of the Day came out, it was like all, it took all the heat Yeah. because they, if anything was being made fun of, they just thought it was Cook of the Day. We did it for you. <laughs> I still don't know who does it. Yeah. As, and uh, as you know, taking heat can get exhausting. <laughs> Getting phone calls in the middle of the night can get exhausting. So I think remaining anonymous for Cook of the Day smart. was a smart, smart Very play. Smart. <laughs> Are you yeah. like their head? I was. Pro I was. Server? I was the face. <laughs> the the head kook. It came very naturally. <laughs> <laughs> but I got on that. That like, was kind of your first big break. Hundred right? yeah. percent. There's two things I loved in surfing the last twelve, thirteen years: Sterling Spencer, Cook of the Day, because <laughs> funny, right? Man. Hilarious creative without trying in a natural way so yeah. what happened to kick of the day kick of the day had a million followers right yes over and a million. it's yep. disappeared mm -hmm. is there anywhere else we can find kick of the day kick of the day og has all the original content at about one hundred fourteen thousand followers right so now. you started another yeah so it was always the backup back account because account. you have to have that because you, you never knew if it was going to get clipped and it's the saddest thing in the world, mm -hmm. dude, because all Kook of the Day was about was it's showing like a community. we love surfing and here's the way to do this. Here's the culture. Like you don't go rock climb. Like we want you to do it well, right. do it safe. Here's the culture. And we love like Thrasher Skateboarding Magazine, right? Mm -hmm. There needs to be something fun in surfing that, that's lighthearted, which is why I drove across the country to be here because <laughs> this is it, dudes. Yeah. What was it like when you started Instagram and, you know, like pro surfers were responding? Uh, unreal. The, the <laughs> best thing in the world. I'm not imp that impressed with celebrities. My shit is... Because you're a huge fan of surfing. Huge fan. So, like, Shane Dornian DMs me. Uh, Kelly Slater DMs me. <laughs> I lose my mind. I'm screaming. When I got on Kook of the Day, I jumped up and was so excited but to have Kalani Rob and then like, he's like, come surf with me. And I'm like, these guys are real guys, like yeah. accessible. And then right. I met all these dudes and I'm like, all I had ever had to do was be myself. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just be yourself. I kind of feel like it was almost a blessing later on in your life. Cause yeah. I feel like I see a lot of like lost movies in you. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Sure. Yeah. Huge, <laughs> massive fan. I see a lot of lost yes. in you. Yes. And I was thinking, I'm like, if he would have been in those movies, mm -hmm. it might have would have destroyed you. 100%. Because 100%. All, all those guys got, do you remember the lost surf movies? Like, they were amazing, but they also would destroy <laughs> lives. Because, like, Drugs you would have been the, you would have been, like, bigger than Randall. You know, you remember Randall? Absolutely. Randall was just this drunk. Yep. And he was the life of every party. They brought him to trade shows. He was he was like you before you. Do you remember Gilligan? Yeah, Gilligan. 
And I feel like if you would have oh. if you would have came out then, I I don't think you would have been here. No, and and think, listen, man, uh, whatever you believe <laughs> in, whatever force, like there is a timing thing yeah. for sure. And I would have self. It was like keeping you safe. Absolutely, <laughs> I think there was some protection going on hmm. because, and then realizing like. You only get funnier the older you get. It's you hard. look sillier. Your nose gets bigger. Your ears <laughs> gets bigger. That's true. You have more things to draw on, more right. life experience. Right. It's actually great. You can tell all these stories when you're 21, which is all I ever dreamed of. Was like, oh, I want to be famous. Not I want to walk down the street and have someone recognize me. I would have lost my mind. It's too. Right. It's too you know? early. You're not. Yeah, you're not. And also in the, during that time, like I have lost it before. I've, I've lost it. Right. And but like, it wasn't online. Wasn't <laughs> online. No. And then working on the, and yeah, we see that happen and it's, it's not good. But, um, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful that there is, there is hope and there is timing. I just, anybody, anybody lean into your strengths. <laughs> you know what you are. I think everybody yeah. kind of by eighth grade is like, I know what I am. <laughs> like, I know what I did. I'm an idiot. Yeah, like, <laughs> if you love making people laugh, dude, find out a way to make people laugh. Yeah. I think I was in eighth grade or ninth grade, and I made a video, and we showed it to about, like, 300 people, and it was a funny clip, and everyone laughed, and I remember getting chills, and be like, that's what I'm going to do. That's it. Make I videos. He was kind of, because uh, I was pro surfing yeah. contests and stuff, and he was super into YouTube, and he was like, he would be like, go jump off this bridge right here. <laughs> that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> And he knows how silly I am. Right. So he was kind of the catalyst. And uh, our friend Gray Stevenson. My cousin, my other cousin. Yeah, his cousin. He was like this real nerdy smart. <laughs> and <laughs> he was like this whiz kid. Yeah. Web designer. And he had this mole on his arm. He would rub and look at you and A curl his hair. <laughs> <laughs> He'd sit in the corner. Do you have a hair on it? The mole. <laughs> He'd sit in the corner and twirl his <laughs> hair in like a shadow, and he's like, "You know." And what are you saying? That we came around you and no, he, we we were making the videos, and he was like, "You know, um, I can turn a website to a blog." <laughs> and we're like, "What?" We're like, "What's a blog?" And he's like, "Here, follow me." And we like follow him into his room. And he shows us the first blog. This is probably 2005 or something. No, probably like 2002. Two? Yeah. And I had a website, sterlingspencer.com. It had like my headshot and like results and stuff. (laughs) And he goes and shows us blogs. And he's he's like, you could be doing this. And I can just make a website. (laughs) And we were just like, what? (laughs) The future is now. (laughs) So he was like this whiz kid that um, really turned pinch myself into a, the first it's blog cool. website that i ever saw and then it was like this crazy underground people if they saw stuff they were like hey i saw that on the internet yeah that was sick it was like this secret yeah, it's weird. slow build i just have one question <laughs> and this is on honest to god can you shape shift are you really half centaur <laughs> Because well, that shit was well, done. Last, I I mean, depends on maybe I which realm we're in. Got it. Well, what people don't know too is you shed your legs every few months. Yeah. So last ev- episode, we every did. full moon, it comes out, and then I, it falls <laughs> off, and then so back to human. God. Who is your all-time favorite surfer? Oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> There's so many. You got to put them into categories. No, who who is your guiding light? You're a goofy footer. I am a goofy footer. I love Nathan Fletcher. I think he's a Clint Eastwood. I is think he's the cowboy, the modern day cowboy. Is he your light? He's my light. He's your head guru. I've met him. I just think he's he's out outside the realm of surfing. I think he's rad. But Shane Dorian, Kelly Slater. Sterling Spencer <laughs> in that order. No, not in that order. I can't say it's you. So you think I, Nathan Fletcher is your guru? Mine I, is Tom Curran. Oh, dude, we can't. Listen, I watch Tom Curran like in the mirror as a goofy foot. I watch him as a regular. Tom's amazing. I got to meet him for the first time. I got super weirded out like I always do. <laughs> Asked him for a picture. Put it on What Instagram. was he like in person? Sweet. You Just, never met Tom? 
epic. I I've mean, run into Tom. Yeah, I mean, that's, again, that's oh. all those guys I just mentioned were influenced by him. And I love Free Scrubber. It's the cool, one of the coolest surf movies I've seen. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm like, this is the best. That was the most personality I've seen him put out. Oh, when he slips and trips. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Like, He's a mad scientist. He really is. And Tom Carroll, he's another fella. Again, he's, he's in this realm of people that you're like, you're never going to come in contact with. We'll talk to you reach out oh, to yeah. you give you his time dude and has been through so much so i love much. i love i love a human that comes out on the other side and, right. and is is helping other people dude he's because there's a lot of dicks in surfing <laughs> yeah <laughs> looking for <We're> one? <laughs> <laughs> i mean the real i mean the ego on it's some ego. of the fellas you meet you're just like whoa that's how did you how did you get that ego like the reason I started surfing was I saw Endless Summer 2 Pat in the theater. Pat O'Connell yeah, he's amazing. gave me hope. When I was in dark days, like, I don't know about the surfing thing. It's so hard. He'd smile at you on the walk down. He'd say hi. Yeah. He was just a sweet human. He's amazing. Yeah. And Endless Summer is probably the best movie ever. The best. The best. I love it. Anybody that just, yeah, man, just lose the ego like lose that like it's again life's too short let's have some fun (laughs) was steve-o a good surfer steve-o has gotten really good dude uh these guys i love an adult learner but when you're when you fall in love in surfing as an adult you know they're so powerful so powerful because they're kid yeah but to watch their their minds go what do you mean i can't (laughs) take off in front of this person learn to learn the rules (laughs) it's a it's a scary process for them and when they stick with it because of that pure love i give them all the props and steve's one of those guys i said something to him he showed me video of him at the surf ranch getting tubed and i said (laughs) steve i don't i don't think you were in there and i watched his face just go like he was Mm. so sad but the truth is i have you're helping him i have like three seconds of total tube time in my life (laughs) i've been trying to find that barrel too it's tough (laughs) right yeah because you said it was in a wave pool doesn't count because it wasn't that's what i said yeah Yeah. it's 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 not and it was he was probably like (laughs) yeah but he's he's epic and uh seems like a nice guy there's a perfect example of a fella he helped me get sober like really absolutely i we were interviewing for kookum of the day it was called kook talks yep and the song we had the car and everything yep. the entire first hour of that we didn't use any of it because he just goes first thing he goes how's your sobriety going and i'm like not good steve <laughs> and then just being a human he just talked to me right. the entire time and i looked at him and i was like if god exists who would they put in my life to get me sober? I go, it's so absurd that I met this gentleman in the first place. Right. And then if yeah. that guy could do it, like, Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's Steve crazy. is like notorious. Unreal. I mean, he's helped a lot of people. I've seen so, him on podcasts. so many yeah. people, what he does and behind the scenes. And again, I'm Oh, we were, legend. we were talking about Jonah Hill. I was fortunate to surf with him. When did you see him? Yeah. What's that story? Uh, he ordered a bunch of boards from stretch Mm. who is my 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 guy right like and and stretch was like hey do you want to deliver the boards i go are you kidding me i'm a huge fan of his comedy and he's an adult (laughs) learner and he is the most stoked human i've ever met right all i want to talk about is comedy with him and he just wants to talk about like how do you how do you reach the 12th dimension (laughs) how do you get vertical what is and i'm like you gotta meet sterling dude like he is (laughs) We talked. So on, we cool. talked a couple of times. He's great, man. He seemed just soul. like a really sweet soul. Sweet soul. Do you think humor saved you a lot? Had to have. Had to. Oh have. yeah. Yeah. I grew up in like a insanely strict Christian environment. Where I was going next was a huge question on my mind at like age mm-hmm. three. <laughs> age three. <laughs> preach. Preach. Like hell was a big decision i needed to make Mm -hmm. at age three it's true and i remember (laughs) it was so intense and yeah i was funny then it was like the only way i could cope with such a big decision (laughs) right (laughs) my dad should have been a world champion and being from the gulf he never got to do it because he won the first east coast pro surf contest ever and he was the guy in the 70s the tour stopped for like five years, I don't know if 
You knew, oh, remember yeah. that? Yep. So the tour stopped right in his prime. And he was at the world titles and was beating David Nueva and like everything was happening and it stopped. And then he had my brother Yancey and it just passed by him. So with us, me and my brother, it was like he put all that into us. Like, you're going to be world champ. And me and my brother are like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, daddy. <laughs> between my mom, the Christianity, and my dad being the world champion, the pressure on me it was just like. <clears throat> so comedy was my savior. Yeah. Did you want to be a pro server? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wanted a t-shirt, Sterling. <laughs> I wanted flow, son. I remember a girl in high school, straight up, walk up to me. She's like, you serve? I go, yeah. She goes, you sponsored? I go, no. She just walked right away. <laughs> pro surfers? Not even pro. If you got a shot in a magazine, if you got a shot in wave action, if you, if you, <laughs> if you were sponsored, if you got flow, you were like a walking king. Yeah. Right. Where I grew up... Any coastal community, you have to understand, like what Texas football is, like the quarterback. Like yeah. if you are a sponsored surfer, you are the dude, the women love you, the men look at you, they're like, oh, he's so <laughs> cool. Like yes, I I saw I saw you in an ad when I, I was young. Like I saw my stu- the girlfriend, the ex girlfriend I had a dream about last night in high school. She had the Hobgoods on her binder. <laughs> Oh and she's like, Dad, uh, and I was like, I wish I was wish a hobby. I had a twin. You know? I'm sorry. I think my, <gasps> yep, wife. We're Answer good to it. go. Hello? Hi, honey. How are you? I'm good. Hey, you're on the Pinch My Salt podcast with Cousin Ryan and Sterling <laughs> Spencer right now. And we have a question for you. Oh, okay, great. I'm in the car with the kids, just so you know. <laughs> I love my little babies. My question is, have you ever seen me do an air on a surfboard? Uh, could we call it a credit card air? Yeah, <laughs> baby. I love you. Credit card air. Official. Thank you for thank you for saying that. All right, I love you, and I'm sorry I ditched you to drive cross country to meet my favorite surfer of all time. I'm excited for you. So great. <laughs> I love you. Bye. So, guys, what is the top five worst surf movies of all time? Is it Lost Movies? Are and the worst? Well, let me just say this. If I had a best, yeah, Lost would be on it. And if I had a worst, Lost would be on uh. it. And here's why. Did they destroy human lives? <laughs> <laughs> the quality is great. Lives. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, I definitely wanted to go party after watching <laughs> the Lost videos. And my parents were not happy about that. Well, like every surfer that I knew. Yeah that got sponsored by loss is like bye bye we'll never see you again yeah they pay you in weed (laughs) right i tell you what uh they've done well for themselves with the brand for me the lost videos are up at the top because i cannot surf very well but man can i drink (laughs) (laughs) and they'll let you around if you're fun to party with i'll tell you that you know to be honest i really really want to get a lost shortboard So I'm not going (laughs) to say anything badly about them. Those videos shaped who I was. I went to college and I was like, beer, surf, beer, (laughs) beer and surf, beer and surf, you know, and then weed, you know, but I can tell you this. Yeah, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of those folks didn't make it out. Well, yeah, they're all dead now. Yeah. And my friend was (laughs) (laughs) just talking about it. (laughs) Hey, man. (laughs) It's like the ghosts of Lost surfboards just came into our van it suddenly <laughs> smells quite potent in here we are now smelling There's marijuana can you film them smoke the family that smokes together <laughs> stays together that's what i say hand me that hand me that <laughs> these people are smoking weed everyone as a family <laughs> i'll blur their faces those who smoke together well they all have lost <laughs> boards under I their that's a daughter too <laughs> that's a i would just like to say before i leave that I've had a few special moments in my life, my children being born, <laughs> meeting my wife, but being here truly has been an absolute pleasure, and i just like to say namaste. Thank you for coming. Thank you for allowing me to be here, even though I wasn't invited, <laughs> and I'm going to be in big trouble, and I have a very long drive home. Lost across America. <laughs> On my way.
We're going to chant the world title surfers' names. Tom Kelly, Kalani, Rob Kelly, Rob Kelly, Clay, Kalani, Rob Kelly, Clay, Taylor, Shane Dorian, Aki, Makakalupo, Makakalupus. <laughs> How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch my salt. <laughs>